That's the hood where I'm from. But it's bigger than that. We live on a planet, in a solar system, in the universe. Not just on a block. Be aware of that. King 2 here. New Alpha Comics in history, man. Let's go. I'm saying we're talking about DC, man. Where do we go from here? What's up with the universe? What's going on? It just, it's going nowhere. You know, I'm hearing about the Discovery merger. You know, Discovery's buying DC or whatever. I mean, all the movies that's supposed to have came out this year got pushed back the next year. You know, and then they want to push up. They want to push up Shazam. Like, okay. I guess they want to give us something. But Shazam? Okay, please. But this is what they're doing. You know, I hear a lot of stuff about a spinoff series from Batman they canceled. So, I mean, what, what's, I hope the reason why they pushed everything back is that they're actually getting Zack Snyder back involved. I mean, they, they have to do something. I mean, you have to have a universe. You have to. The comics is a universe. So, you have to get something going on. You know, I love DC. I started looking at comics. There was DC comics before Marvel. You know what I'm saying? This is why I'm so upset. You know, you had Jeff Johns and he was in charge. And then all of a sudden you made him a writer. He went from being the top dog to being a writer now. If you're going to get him out that position, you're supposed to get him out of there completely. Now you're making him, you have him, you have him write. I mean, it doesn't make no sense. Then you got Jim Lee, you know, you know, no, no relation to Stan Lee, definitely no relation to Stan Lee. It's like, he seems like a comic book guy. He really does. I mean, I read up on him. He seems like a comic book guy. But the problem is with DC is y'all not letting him have no say so in nothing. He can't dub nothing. He can't, he can't make a move how he want to make it. Come on, man. You just got him in a position. He doesn't have the the authority to, to, to make it move, to make the move how he wants to make the move. I guarantee you, Jim Lee wants a whole nother direction for DC. But he can't because it's so corporate. And this is the bad part about DC. So, like I said, y'all got, got to get everything structured, get everything right. Marvel did the same thing. So y'all got to get it right. People want to see these movies. People want to see Batman and Superman and, and the universe and Darkseid and... You know, people want to see that stuff. They want to see that. I want to see Dark Side. Definitely want to see Dark Side. You know what I'm saying? I want to see it. You know, and, if, and, and through all this madness, you actually have a good show in Peacemaker. Actually a good show. You know? I, I'm going to do a video about it. You know what I'm saying? It's a good show. But what I'm really here about is The Batman. You know, I had to do my little research and I'm trying to figure out what comic did this come from? What, what this whole mentality of Batman, where did this come from? You know, when Batman came out, when they when, when I seen the first teaser trailer and I said to myself, oh, I'm not trying to see nothing else. I don't want to see nothing else. I don't want to be spoiled. I don't want to be nothing. I just want to go into that movie theater and be presently surprised. Obviously, I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? But for, for me doing that, I didn't look into the movie. Like, a month ago, before the movie started, before the movie came out, they had a, a novel before the Batman. Graphic novel. So, basically, they really invented this Batman. I knew it. I, I, there's no way. Like, I had debates with my friends and, and, and everybody about this. About everybody was trying to oh it, they, it came from uh, year one and ego and and long Halloween but I'm saying to myself no in long Halloween Bruce Wayne was active he was active in fighting crime just like every other Batman Bruce Wayne and Batman fights crime Bruce Wayne does it his way and Batman does it his way. But this movie, Bruce Wayne, he was, he was ashamed to be Bruce Wayne. So I wanted to figure out why is he ashamed to be himself? And now I got it. <laughs> Before the Batman, 
It's a whole book, whole graphic novel about this movie. You know what I'm saying, and, and, and it's crazy because I looked, I looked it up. It doesn't even have no reviews. <laughs> you know why? Because they was waiting till the movie came out. <laughs> they want to bash it. It's all propaganda. But hey, listen, I read it, and I want to tell y'all some of the key details about it. You just look, look for yourself, and I, I, I give my own opinion of it at the end. But you know, it starts off like obviously he was ten when his parents got killed. Then it just jumps from from age 10 to 17. But when age 10, before that, his parents moved from the mansion, Wayne Mansion, to this condominium that you see in the movie, the Wayne Tower. And so they moved from, to, from, the, from the mansion to the Wayne Tower. And they, get, they, they let all the orphanage kids live in the mansion. That's where Riddler comes in. Riddler was one of the kids that moved into the Wayne Mansion as the orphanage. And all those kids disliked it, Bruce Wayne, because he was a rich kid and now they get to see how he lived and, and all those kids didn't like Bruce. Obviously the Riddler didn't like Bruce. And then you see that scene from the movie where he was staring at Bruce Wayne. That's actually in the book. So, I mean, you have the, the origin story of, of Riddler not liking Bruce Wayne. So that's how, that's his first picture of Bruce Wayne. He just didn't like him because he was a rich kid and he got everything he wanted and Riddler never got nothing he wanted because he was an orphan. Okay. Then it goes to when he was 17, he uh, started street racing. He wanted to street race and he started building his car, the Batmobile that we see in the movie. He started building that car at 13. You know, he started messing with it, messing with it, trying to get it fast. You know, fixing it up, fixing it up, and by 17, he was ready to we ready to race with it. But he tried to go go race, and they were looking at him like, "You Bruce Wayne, you, what are you doing?" Like, and, and you know, they wasn't it wasn't really jacking him. You know, he said he was too young and things like that. So he, this Bruce Wayne, for some reason, he didn't like his he didn't like himself because, you know, people looked at him as he was spoiled, and you know, he had everything in in, in, the, in the palm of his hand, and he didn't like that. He didn't like to be known as that. So he basically was hiding from himself. So he was he would go out in disguise and, 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 and race and do things like that. And then he met this girl named Dax. Her, her name is Dorothy. You're probably, we're probably gonna see her in part two. Well, he met this girl named Dax. Well, he was at a light and she came up on a light and they raced, you know, and they ended up getting tight. And Finally, it jumps again to them going street racing and things like that. And one of the cars almost hit Riddler because Riddler, he actually became a, a door dash. Basically, he was delivering food all over the Gotham. Riddler was just like having a, a bad life. You know, he was, you know, obviously anti-Shosu. Both, both of them was anti-Shosu, uh, Bruce Wayne and the Riddler. You know, they had no friends or nothing. He almost got hit by a street racer. You know, and, and that angered him. And now he was upset where, you know, he places the bomb in, in Dak's car. Now, I don't know how he became, how he became a bomb extra all of a sudden, but hey, he puts a bomb in her car and her and Bruce was uh, joyriding and racing and, and her car got on fire. And Bruce got out there and saved her before the car blew up. And so... In the comic, it was like a, a thrilling sensation for Bruce because he never, he had nothing like, he really had, he was aimless in life. He was just antisocial. He was basically like in a hole. He wasn't, you know, he was hiding from himself. He didn't like himself. So he was just like recluse. And so he thought street racing would give him a little adrenaline rush, you know, but with the real adrenaline rush gave him when he saved Dax. So he felt that like, and... And Riddler, on the other hand, got a, more, a real adrenaline rush when he put that bomb in somebody's car, getting revenge. He just felt like he he wanted to get revenge against society for 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 him being in the position he's in. So I mean, here no there. So you know, from there on out, uh, Bruce Wayne actually found out that in the bottom of Wayne Tower was an abandoned 
train station that his parents used to go use that to get to work to avoid traffic. Okay. And so then, so he went down there and he started, you know, rocking down there. He started bringing stuff in there. And he was like a small scientist, Bruce Wayne, you know, in, in this comic. And he used to bring stuff back and try to experiment on it and things like that. And that was his hobby. You know, he started fixing up the fixing up the train station. Obviously, we've seen it in the movie. I'm saying it was it was an abandoned train station. So that's I'm like, okay. And so now he got the, he got the little station. He's bringing stuff back, and now it jumps to to him. You know, graduating high school, going off to college. And before that, Alfred is the one that was actually training him to fight. So Alfred Alfred was a actually an ex British intelligence agent. But I'm saying, so he, he, obviously he was, you know, he knew a lot of martial arts. He knew like three different types of martial arts. And he was, you know, teaching Bruce Wayne how to defend himself, you know? And he wasn't teaching Bruce Wayne to, to defend himself to be Batman. He was just teaching him to d defend himself, just, you know, showing him how to protect himself. Just in case, obviously his parents got killed. So he wanted to show him how to protect himself. And so with that being said, when he went off to college, he was literally in the comics. He was in, in in a graphic novel. He was, you know, switching his major. Like he would just like go like go to this college in this country, and then he would want to study under this guy in this country. You know what I'm saying like, and the whole time is like he was just going country to country, college to college, studying, and he was training under other teachers in other countries and other places. So obviously. If they still gonna use this as canon, you're gonna see in part two where he's gonna actually meet somebody that trains him. But obviously, his training wasn't doing was anything in the movie. Because I mean he wasn't he had he had no stealth, no nothing. So we're gonna see what's going on with that. But he was getting trained in other countries and other places by other masters. You know? So then he felt he still felt like he wanted to go back to Gotham because he, he loved Gotham. So when he came back to Gotham as a man, you know, walking around the city and things like that, he started seeing like, you know, obviously crime and everything like that. And so he wanted to, you know, do something, you know what I'm saying? But he didn't know what to do. And so he started seeing about, you know, uh, Dax. She was actually started doing crimes. Like he, he, he found out she was like, Doing, doing doing dirt. It was a robbery and people was using this gel, some, some type of gel. And he actually brought it back to the, his cave and examined it. And he wanted to, you know, find out what it was. And he ended up hiring, I mean, talking to Alfred and getting, getting him to talk to a police officer. Now, this police officer is, was not in the movie. So, and he started going, finding out where, where it came from. And finally, if it, it led back to Dax. So, you know, from there on out, it was like, okay, he knew that she was doing crimes. Just like go from there, like he, he you know, he told us he, she couldn't do it or whatever, that such and such. And then he wanted to really get into crime fighting. And so he uh, went into uh, Wayne Industries and he, he wanted to get a suit that was about speed. You know what I'm saying? More about leniency and speed. Obviously, because he didn't want to work out for the movie, so you know he got a he got a, he got a uh, a suit for that, and it was like um, you know bulletproof and things like that. So the novel gives you a small dose into his origin story. You know what I'm saying? But what uh, what I don't like about it is that this is not good for for the youth. This is not good for the youth. You know, Bruce Wayne not liking himself. We don't have that. Bruce Wayne is, is a billionaire. He don't care about what people think about him. It's just a bad omen to put in a movie did. To put in a movie, especially a Batman movie. Because I was I was young, 10 years old when I watched Batman. And I seen Bruce Wayne, I was like, whew. I want to be that. That's what I want to be. I want to be a billionaire. You know what I'm saying entrepreneur. I want to do what I want when I want it. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want. And then he was Batman on the side. He was the illest. This is what kids my age 
got from this. Like, yo, he he, he puts the man in masculinity. I'm saying that, that this is what it is. He don't care about what you think about him. He's rich. That's it. It is what it is. So all I'm saying is just, this Bruce Wayne is just unhappy with himself. Like it was, it was a part in the book where he got pulled over for, uh, for for speeding, and the police pulled him over and said, "Oh, this is Bruce Wayne," and they didn't give him a ticket because he's Bruce Wayne because he could pay for it or whatever. It didn't mean nothing, and so he took offense that he didn't get the ticket because he's Bruce Wayne, and that hurt him to the point where he he didn't want to be Bruce Wayne no more. Like, that don't make no sense. You are the, you that guy. That's why they didn't want to give you a ticket. That's what you're supposed to be thinking. Like, I'm that I'm that guy. They give me a ticket for. Okay, I'll pay for it. No problem. They know that. So they can't touch you. This is you, Bruce Wayne. You are a billionaire. You own the city. This is your life. And you this is this is a bad bad come off to the youth because this is so, it's so caught up right now with this whole you know everybody's so concerned with what, what people think about them and no you're not supposed to be concerned what people think about you you're not you're supposed to be proud of yourself and this batman is just not proud of his own self so obviously when the movie did it in the movie at the end he actually got some insight like i shouldn't be like this I should be able to reach out and help people, you know, try to make a change instead of just running around, walking around, beating people up. But see, the the, the novel is still didn't solve the, 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 the fact like he has to get, this is supposed to be Batman. He has to get the element of surprise. He has to get his gadgets up. So, I mean, part two is going to be a big origin story in part two. It has to be. And I don't even think that they're going to actually make this book canon. I think they're going to dub it. And when I say dub, I know I got I got a lot of different people from a lot of different countries and things like things like that. So the word dub means get rid of. That's what it means. It means get rid of. So when I say dub, it means get rid of. But it's just like it's a lot that he has to do to get this Batman right. You know I'm saying so. I don't think they're gonna take this as canon. Right now it's canon. The book is canon. This is where Batman comes from. Not those other books. You know they 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 took a little bit out of those books out of those other comics. They took. You know, ego that, you know, he, he was fighting with himself. They took that from, from the book. He was fighting with himself. You know, the dark part of himself, yes. And then Long Halloween, obviously, the book was, the movie was in on Halloween. They took that. In year one, they took, they just flipped it and said year two. But year one wasn't year one. Year one was this graphic novel. So I just wanted to give give you a quick analyze that, that book real fast, you know, Cause I'm just like done with this. Like this is gonna be my last video on the Batman and all that type of stuff. I'm done. I'm going back to Marvel where I belong. <laughs> Facts, you know. So I mean, like I said, I just hope DC get it together. I hope, you know, Jim Lee gets some get some say so where he could run something. He could, he could dub something. If not, get him out of there. Get Zack Snyder in there. You know I'm saying let him run the whole thing. I mean everything, everything. Let him run every movie. Even the, even the movies that he's not producing, let him have to say so. To let it go the way he needs to go, to keep the universe intact. Cause DC needs a universe. They got great characters. They got great stories. They got a lot of mythology. That's reality. You know what I'm saying? So, I want to see it. And DC have millions of fans, billions of fans. They want to see it too. But you, you're not going to just fool us with, with nonsense. That's what I'm saying. It's nonsense. That's not Batman. Y'all made this Batman up. Stop playing with us. Stop playing with us, DC. Straight up. Stop playing. That's all I got to say, man. King 2, out.